Hello students. Today we will be discussing about the topic high velocity forming which is a topic in module 5 of the subject advanced manufacturing technology. Now we all know that metal forming is a secondary manufacturing process in which the material is deformed plastically to take the shape of the die geometry. When you say the material is plastically deformed it means that the deformation is permanent and to make the deformation permanent what we do is we induce stresses beyond the yield strength of the material. Now to impart this deformation the commonly used system is a punch die system. Now to get a feel of the process let's watch a video. Now here this one is the punch and this is the die. Now what we will be doing is we will place a sheet material in between this punch and the die and we will place this punch die and the sheet assembly onto a hydraulic press and we will apply a vertical load onto it. Now this is the sheet material. Now the assembled part is being subjected to vertical loading. Now on opening it up you could see the deformed sheet material. The shape of the sheet material deformed depends on the shape of the punch and the die. Now what is the limitation of this particular process? It's pretty easier. It's a fact. But the thing is that if you want to generate any complex feature, how much effective will this process be? Right now the feature that has been generated is pretty simple. Now, If you want to generate complex feature with very fine features or complex features onto it, then conventional forming technique is, is going to be it, it, it's going to be a challenge in the conventional forming technique. Now the second thing is that if you want to deform or generate a product on a mechanically superior material then how much effect effective will, will this process be. So in that aspect also uh, conventional metal forming operation won't be that much challenging. Now the third condition is how big a feature you can generate using conventional metal forming technique because we require a punch die system now to if to make a bigger product you need accordingly a bigger punch system and accordingly a system that can accommodate the whole assembly so this all will impart to the cost so in that aspect also conventional metal forming operation has its own limitations now to counter these limitations high metal velocity metal forming techniques have been devised so what we do in high velocity metal forming is that we will be imparting very high kinetic energy to the particles in the workpiece material. We will accelerate those part uh, the particles in the workpiece material to a very high velocity and we will make them to hit it on an appropriate die. Now how we impart this high kinetic energy onto the workpiece material? It's not by mechanical contact as in the case of conventional metal forming. No, here we use some energy source to generate energy and we will be using that energy to impart kinetic energy to the material and we will be applying this large amount of energy for a very short interval of time. So when we compare this process with the conventional metal forming technique, the particle velocities that we are imparting is extremely high. So we can produce the parts at a very rapid rate on first point and the second thing is that very complex features can be generated at ease. The third thing is that there is no size constraint in high velocity metal forming. We can generate bigger parts as well and without any material constraint on any formable material. Now since we are using very high amount of energy to impart the deformation compared to the conventional practice, these high velocity metal forming techniques are also called as high energy rate forming techniques or HERF. So high velocity metal forming and high energy rate metal forming both are the same. Now I said that we are going to impart very high very large amount of energy for a very short interval of time. So when we say very short interval of time it's not like one second or two second. We are talking about imparting this high amount of energy for a duration of microseconds. Microseconds means 10 power minus 6, one second, one microsecond means 10 power minus 6 of a second. So we will be using, we will be imparting energy 
for like around, around a domain of like 100 microseconds or 300 microseconds something like that so the time required will be very less now what is this 100 microsecond how how can we quantify that to get a feel of that let's watch this video now consider that a uh, 500 meters per second bullet is moving so in one second that bullet can travel 500 meters in one by tenth of a second it can travel 50 meters one by hundredth of a second five meters now in one by ten thousandth of a second that means 100 microsecond this bullet can travel 50 mm in 100 microseconds this bullet can travel 50 mm so we are going to impart the particle velocities something like in this domain so our process will be completed in a very very short interval of time maybe we, we are not going to impart velocities like 500 meter per seconds but obviously something close to that so if we compare conventional metal forming techniques with high velocity metal forming techniques the deformation velocities velocities that we are going to impart in high velocity metal forming we will be imparting velocity of like around 300 meter per second 300 meter per second means if you know the velocity of sound at room temperature is like 340 meter per second so something close to that of a velocity we are going to impart to the particles inside the workpiece material that's how high the velocities that we are using if you compare that with conventional machining uh, or metal forming system the maximum particle velocity that we will be imparting is like 9 meter per second that's the difference now the part size as i said earlier in a conventional system to make a bigger part we need a bigger punch bigger die system which is not feasible in high velocity metal forming no such constraints are there in terms of the size of the part we need to form now the third thing is the most important thing is strain distribution in the conventional metal forming technique what's the basic limitation is the strain distribution is not uniform in the case of high velocity metal forming it's much more uniform since this uh, this strain distribution is uniform uh, what it facilitates is that we can deform the material more compared to that we can deform in a conventional system so a more precise and a high level of de deformation can be imparted under high velocity metal forming convert to conventional metal forming that too without failure maybe we could imp uh, impart deformation but in conventional metal forming as well but the chances of failure will be on the higher side in the, in the case of conventional forming if, if you're trying to um, apply st more strain onto it however in the case of high velocity metal forming since the strain distribution is uniform we can deform it more compared to the conventional metal forming technique